Alright guys, and welcome back to more Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor Overclocked. And we are back after pretty much defeating a whole bunch of demons, and we had to save a whole bunch of civilians, and we had to stop the police officer from making a bad decision. We watched the Shonen Kai summon a demon successfully, and then pretty much bring out a goddess, uh, I forgot the name of the demon already, but it was a goddess looking like demon and right now what we wow i fucked up <laughs> i'm not even supposed to have this oh my god guys i'm sorry hold on here we go i don't know why i had that uh that shouldn't have even been like that i had the wrong layout equipped that's actually my when i stream hot suni miku project diva f second i usually have that layout but unfortunately i i didn't even look up at the stream to I'm not even streaming this. I'll use OBS, and OBS is when I I use that software to locally record DS games and also the stream. But I didn't even look up to see if I had the correct layout. I was just looking at my DS. But anyway, I fixed the problem. But like I was saying, we just got done pretty much doing a mission where we had to quickly defeat demons so they could pretty much not kill the civilians. And right now. I'm thinking about, I know what the next fusion I want, and it, you guys might be familiar with them, but I really want to get this Tyrant King Frost right here, because if you take a look at his skills, I got the right layout this time. <laughs> if you take a look at this guy's skills, he has Mabufu, he's got Ice Boost, and he's got a ridiculous racial skill called Tyranny, which restores MP after every skirmish. So every time you initiate a battle, and then after that battle, you get MP. That would go really, really really well with a freaking deity dude like like not even just a deity but that could actually go really well with someone who has double down who allows you to attack multiple turns or multiple times in one turn so tyranny might go really well with the double down but it also goes well with a deity like it's ridiculous like you can just you can nuke the field you can literally nuke the field with king frost thanks to tyranny and then the main character uh, is going to get boosted up by, uh, what, Awakening. And then the recover after every battle, you just recover MP. So you can just nuke, nuke. Man, it's just going to be ridiculous later. <laughs> I can already tell, like, from some of these skills, it's just going to be ridiculous. And I already have, like, a planned out uh, fusion process. I'm actually going to fuse somebody onto him. Not Thor, but I'm going to fuse somebody on him uh, to this guy that's going to give him anti-fire. We definitely want to pass down anti-fire to him so we can cover pretty much almost every single resistance. Like, he's going to be resistance against electric, wind, boo-foo. He's going to nullify freaking mute. He's going to freaking be strong against fire. It's going to be ridiculous. We're going to make that tyrant. That's the next dude we got to make. Hopefully, we can get to level 22 very soon so we can get that. But for right, right now, for now, we don't really, we can't really do that. So what we're going to do is pretty much look for someone to hang out with. And I think we're going to try to hang out with Kaido and Mari here. So let's go ahead and see what they are doing. As you walk down the street, you see Kaido with Mari. The two of them look solemn. Tadashi, you have to stop this. It's too dangerous. Oh, Tadashi? Your brother would be sad to see you get hurt. Hmm. On hearing Mari's words, Kaido's face tightens and... He kicks the nearby guardrail. How many times I gotta say this? Don't talk about him. Sorry, but after all, it's my fault that he... What? What did I just say? That's what I don't want to hear. How is it your fault that your brother died? Or her, his brother died? I'm sorry. What's going on? She only has two days to live by the... Or she only had... She only has two days to live. Ugh, two days to live. I can't speak. Somebody please teach me English. Ah, that bastard. If he just died normally, he wouldn't keep getting in my way. <laughs> Brother like that? I'm just mad I wasn't the one to kill him. Damn. Tadashi, don't say that. Not even as a joke. Ah, shut up. And quit sticking your nose into this. That thing, it's mine. I'm gonna finish it off. You keep out of this. I'm gonna guess that's a boss in five days. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that's just a boss he needs to fight. Kaido walks away. You don't hear him say, 
Please, oh baby, don't go. I'm sorry, Tadashi. I know you worry about me. But I can't back down. Can't back down. Never back down. Never back down. You can't back down. Walking the streets. It's Tokyo. Can't back down. Shimagami Tensei. Keep your head up. Demons attack it. <laughs> it's Jack Frost, motherfucker! <laughs> Jack Frost and Dr. Dre, nigga! <laughs> Alright, let's just go ahead and do this next battle in Ikabukuro. Kisuke and Midori. Whoa. Ah! It's going down here. What's wrong? Monsters! Monsters over there! Is that Karen Strauss? Monsters? They look like demons! They're all over! A boy and a girl didn't get away! Uh-oh. Two people? This isn't good. We have to rescue them. What did they look like? The... The girl was dressed like some anime character. I... I don't remember the boy. Oh, well, that sounds like uh, Midori. And the boy... Is most likely, um, Kisuke. Yeah, it's gotta be her. Wait a second. What time is it? This is right where the Laplace mail said something would happen. Wh what should we do? If the email's right, they're not the only ones in danger. There'll be over 50 victims. 50? Vi oh, so this is, oh yeah, that's right. This I think this was the last event that was supposed to happen. <gasps> Oh, we have to save them. Let's go. Wait. No, 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 no. The last event that was supposed to happen was that the Shomonkai, I think, were supposed to summon a demon. And then they were supposed to fail, right? Because they already summoned one demon and they had success. But the second demon they were supposed to summon is supposed to go AWOL or something, right? Is this it? Oh, boy. It's going down. Look at all these crazy dudes. Get a grip on yourself. You realize we're in serious danger, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is where he's supposed to die because he has zero freaking, um... Yeah, he has nothing left on his death clock. What's happening? This isn't normal at all! Daddy, help me! Daddy? How old is this girl? Come on, don't give up. Everyone has already gone ahead. You know, if Kesuke is trying to help her, he must be older, so she's probably, like, less than 16. Kesuke, I think, was the same age as, uh... At zero? So she's probably, like... 16, 15? Use that entrance over there to get underground. Hurry! No! I can't do that! You can do that, and you will. I wish I didn't have to resort to this, but I've got no choice. Uh-oh, he's about to go Super Saiyan? Summoning program activate. No, he's summoning the demons. Jack Frost! Pyro Jack! I summon Pyro Jack in attack mode! Ah, what are they? And I special summon Jack Frost. His special ability allows me to special summon him anytime Pyro Jack is summoned from my program. <laughs> and now I activate the spell card. Polymerization. <laughs> That'd be a sick ass combo. <laughs> Don't be afraid. These demons are my friends and they won't hurt you. Whoa, fr stop freaking out. My death clock hit zero today. This will probably be my last battle. He's actually still fighting, which is surprisingly, uh... Well, I thought he would probably run, but he's actually sticking up for Midori here. But at the very least, I'm going to save this girl. Atsuro, if only I had the strength to defy fate like you. Is that Keisuke? Wait, no... Did he only have one more day left because... Today's his last day. Oh, give me a break. I'm not gonna let that happen. Sorry, bro. We out of here. This ain't our business, dude. We only got one day to live. I ain't trying to spend my... No, I ain't trying to freaking lessen my death clock today. Hey, there's supposed to be over 50 victims, right? Where are they? Probably on the ground. Save that for later. We have to rescue Keisuke and that girl right now! Keisuke! Hang in there, Keisuke. We'll save you, no matter what. Keisuke? <laughs> I used to pronounce it Keisuke. 
So we gotta defeat all the demons. And we're required to have Ed Zero out on the field. That is fine because he's actually gonna be doing most of the work, it looks like. Because he has pretty much like one of the best setups in our crew right now. So what I'm gonna do first of all is see. Yeah, we have anti curse. I guess I'll crack it. I guess I'll crack it with a uh, lion here. And at zero, he, we can't crack any other school, uh, skills right now. So let's see. Um, at zero, I think is okay. I think we're okay with this entire party right now. Yeah, everybody looks fine. I just now need to plan out my positioning. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go ahead. And save the data here just in case we make a mistake so now what we want to do start setting positions uh i mean i'm definitely gonna have i almost called him naru <laughs> i keep thinking like every time i say lion i think of naru but right now we're gonna have mr aka farewell mr farewell go after the skill immediately and then what we're gonna do is have yuzu She's gonna come down here and attack these guys. Ooh, that's ooh. We gotta be careful of these Gozukis. Look at them. Look at them. They got desperation and they got a lot of health. We can go for the guy in the middle. So we should try to take out the person in the middle most definitely. Or our best bet would be to. These are only two Garms. I think I would be able to get to these Garms. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I cannot get to that guy right there. But, but, wait a minute. I'm actually going to set Atsuro right there. Atsuro is pretty much going to be uh, taking on the lilies because, well, if they get muted, it doesn't really matter. But if I if I send Yuzu towards someone who can mute her, it basically shuts down a lot of her uh, options. So I'm not even going to send Yuzu to go after any of those type of demons. I'm going to send her to go after other demons that could actually do harm that she's actually more of a match for. But... Like I'm saying, um, damn it, I don't have any demons that allow me to attack from a decent distance. I thought I had a demon that could attack from like two spaces away, but you know what, this is fine. I think we will do fine here, as long as I have the correct team that has ice. We need ice. We don't have ice. Burr, burr. He has ice. We should take off ice off of him and give him fire dance. Oh yeah, that's actually a really good thing, because he's going after the pyro jet, or not the pyro jets, but the uh, jet frost. And also what we want to do with Yuzu here is... Probably give her Ice Dance. Uh, instead of Bufu, let's give her Ice Dance. She's gonna be going after uh, enemies. Weak against Ice. They don't. These guys right here are all weak against Ice. So we really need to hit them. Ice. Ice. Damn, a lot of people are weak against Ice. And the only team weak against Fire is these guys up here. So we're gonna send our boy with the fire. We're gonna show him how fire his, uh, <laughs> his mixtape is. And this Jack Frost is gonna melt. It's like, damn, that shit was so fire. One, two, three. Alright. And that Zero is gonna go for the damn Lilies. So, alright, so let's start up this- wait, wait a minute, I didn't even position Yuzu! Almost started up the fight in this! <laughs> that was gonna be real bad. Here we go, guys. Let's start the mission. Keisuke! Atsuro? Why are you here? To save you, man! Come on, dude! A bunch of people took shelter in this building's basement. We can't allow these demons to reach them. Please, help me! Worry about yourself first, dummy. We'll take care of these guys, so run! It's okay, I have a comp, but she needs help. She better get over there and downstairs into the freaking basement. All right, leave her to us. Wait, we have an extra comp. Let's give her the extra comp. Wait, you know what? We left it at Ayama Cemetery. Never mind, we didn't get the, we didn't get the damn comp from the Ayama Cemetery because they said, okay, we defeated all the demons. Let's come back for it later. Why would you leave it there? <laughs> what are you guys? Those monsters, you... Don't worry about that. Just listen to us so we can protect you. All right, let's do it. Damn, he's faster than me. He, he was the first one to go. All right, user, what we need you to do is activate the special ability to uh, freeze these guys to death. Uh, we have to worry about getting... We have to worry about one person pretty much being paralyzed by that Tobu. So I'm pretty sure he goes faster than a lot of my other demons right now. 
Um, go Zuki! Dude, dude. Oh, don't want to cast Maragi right there. That's going to be really sad. You know what? Let's go for this. You know what? Let's go for the middle, dude. For sure. Look at that damage. Good stuff. You know who's about to get critted next turn, right? Wow, we can both kill. Oh, we can go in so hard right now. I'm going to do Ice Dance again. Just because I can. And then this dude is done, basically. Oh, and he's got silenced. Alright, you're done. Nice. That is fine. That dude is extremely weak right now. If he if he attempts to attack anybody, he's done. But you know what? That guy can attack from a distance. But he's... You know what? All he can do is uh, physically attack us. He can't zap us anything with magic because guess what? We silenced this bitch ass. So that's good. So we can pass our turn here. So now we want to come up here and smoke this Jack Frost. Show him how fire our mixtape is. And we're going to pump up the base with the Awakening. Alright, and now we're going to show him how fire... This mixtape is right here. We can play the Tailwind, son. Fire Dance. Berserk. Guess what? Fire Dance. I mean, they're dead. <laughs> they're not surviving. Ooh. Ooh. Small Toby. <laughs> you didn't even get to listen to the whole verse. We didn't even finish the bars. We didn't finish the bars. <laughs> wow. You can take on these demons. Damn right, Aaron. I mean, uh, Mid Midori. Midori, yeah. Alright, so uh, I think we're just gonna do nothing else. Even if we can do something, I, I don't want to return. That'd be. Well, technically, that would actually be smart for me to actually. Maybe put a switch demon on him so I can get over there and take care of the other demons. But you know what? We're not gonna do that. And that would just pretty much eat up our speed. Because if I were to summon another demon, or if I were to return and then summon again, it would pretty much make us super slow, and we don't want that. So now it's at Cyril's turn, baby. Ba ba ba. Ba ba. So, Cyril, you're going to go ahead and attack. Is there any boss we can put on you right here? Nope. Let's go ahead and attack, man. All right, so far, so good, right? Um, We're going to go ahead and angry hit to get a guaranteed critical hit and to hopefully get an extra turn. And since we have an extra turn with Uberlius, we're going to pretty much uh, berserk. And Nikomata, you're going to pretty much... Since you go so quick, we're going to try to... Hmm. We're going to try to mute him. Oh, we got the lady in the middle, which is pretty much the key person we want to mute. Yeah, she can't do shit. Uh, 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 uh. Pop him in the mouth. So, Berserk all day. Uh, I'm going to anger hit the guys in the middle all day. Uh. Uh, you ain't got nobody to protect you. Oh, popped in your mouth for the exact damage. <laughs> if this was Star Ocean, I would have got a trophy for that. Killing you with the exact damage. Yeah, I play Star Ocean. Yeah, I'm making what? Star Ocean references. Oh my gosh! Heroes do exist! You're damn right. You're goddamn right. Now say my name. Atsuro! Then <laughs> Oh, it doesn't look like I can go fight those guys down there. Um, nobody has heal for me. You know what? I should actually. Mmm, this is. I'm not sure if I want to do this. I'm not sure if I want to put Atsuro all the way out there because my boy, my rock man, is about to die, literally. So let's see. I want to put him in the least risk range possible. So I know these guys are probably going to get attacked by this Lily. So let's look at the Lily. Ah, oh, damn. I should probably put him behind, uh... I should probably put Atsuro behind this... By, yeah, behind Yuzu. This dude can probably... Yeah, if I put him behind Yuzu... He'll actually be safe and he'll be ready to get healed. The only person that can attack him is the dude in front of her. Yeah, they can attack Yuzu. That's fine. She has the ability to recover. Yeah, he's gonna... Yeah, I thought so. Alright, he didn't take too much of that bad damage. Oh, he must believe I'm coming for his ass next time. Oh, nice, he's recovering himself. Ooh, putting a hurt on that Garm. Maybe that was a bad choice for me to do that. But even if it was a bad choice, I would be able to back him up still. If it... Damn, Jack Frost just got fucking KO'd, dude. Maybe I should have brought... I should have brought... I should have brought him over there. I should have brought Atsura over there. 
Because I'm pretty sure one of the demons wouldn't went towards Atsuro. So now I need to come up there and heal Kisuke with Yuzu. I should be able to heal him. And I should be able to take out one of them. Um, I'm actually going to make my way over here a bit. I can't really do nothing from right here. So what I would be able to do, let's see. I cannot reach... I would not be able to reach that man to heal him. Unless I use Garm. That's right, double speed. Alright, Garm. Take one for the team. Now we can get up we can get up here. We can wreck this dude. I'm actually gonna have to. Yuki. You know what? D you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit here and Dia, the rock guy. I'm gonna move up there, heal him with devotion, and then I'm going to attack this bastard. Here we go. We in there. We still in there. Don't give up, dude. Oh, yeah. They about to get rocked by this ice storm. Yuki should be fast. And if Garn can, uh, heal himself. Nice. He was able to heal himself. He needed it. <laughs> Ooh. Popped him in his mouth. And then we get an extra turn. We all get extra turns. So, Garn, again, what do I want you to do? If you can go first. You know what? I'm actually going to have her heal. Yuki, and then I'm actually just going to attack. Yeah, she went first, so Yuki's healed. So now we have access to Devotion still. And then the reason why I have Garmin attack is because he, I knew he was going to be able to do enough. So that's good. Wow. <laughs> I'm so mad at that. But you know what? Maybe I'm not so mad because Lion's right there. You just appeared right before Lion, homie. Yeah, we have to do something quick. Oh, is Yuzu turn still? Okay. So we can pop this dude in this mouth, and then we can pop this dude in this mouth. Yeah, we should probably just try to take care of this dude real quick. Yeah, let's come up here. We can attack. You know what? To guarantee my second attack, I probably want to come over here and attack this dude first. And then in battle, what we're going to do is attack. Attack. We're not going to waste uh, HP or MP right now. Just attack him and go down and attack the other guy. Better yet, we'd probably be uh, safe if we were to go up. Now we can't get to the other dude, but we're going to be right here and attack the other one. Mm-hmm. We're going to be able to sock this dude. We're going to sock him in his mouth. We're going to hit this dude. We're going to hit all these dudes. Mm, pop him in his mouth. Pop him in his mouth. Nope, you missed. Oh, yeah, that damage. Definitely go for the guy in the middle. I don't even care. We should be able to knock them all out. All of our attacks should hit for enough. I don't think we'd be able to knock both of them out with anger hit. But might as well just go for the guarantee win right there. Oh, and he can move again? What? Oh my god, so after every attack I can move? Wow, that is, uh... That's pretty old fucking D. That's pretty old D. So, hopefully, if this Lilium is dumb... <laughs> What this Lily will do is actually go for Ed Ciro and actually attack Nico Mata in Ed Ciro. But the thing is, by the time she goes down there and attack him, it's not going to matter because they can retaliate her dumbass. Oh yeah, what's good, dude? You you spawned in the wrong area. You went against Ice. Ice and Zahn. Alright, let's move over here. The word you know what to do. Awakening. Awakening the chaos up in here. We're going to attack. They get initiative, huh? Well, we got Tailwind, son. So... I have fired. I'm thinking about using fire and not lightning. You feel me? Honestly, I can probably pop this dude single-handedly with Thor. Because this dude has way weak defense. But but since I have the Awakening, I'm going to take advantage of the, the magic boost. Hey, as long as we don't freaking get zealed. Oh, you zealed the wrong person, homie. <laughs> you zealed the wrong man. in his mouth <laughs> yo he should have blocked he should have down backed he should have he should have held down back <laughs> let's put that in agility one more level we can create a uh, king frost i'm hoping i'm really hoping KSK can live this next attack fuck he lived it as long as he's Go hide underground. 
We'll deal with the demons. Okay. Gotcha. Hopefully. Um, please be careful. We got this, Midori. All right. So the defeat conditions removed one person, and that was Midori. We got this. Why did he go? Oh, not. Oh, dude, don't die. Kill. Don't try to kill yourself, dude. I don't know why he went after him. Wait, he. She had got two turns. What is he doing? <laughs> he actually attacked Lily when we were right here. That was possibly the dumbest thing you could do. Kisuke, you almost fucking got to get. You almost got me a game over, you dumbass. Oh, biscuit head ass. I want to be Bryce sounding ass. I'm silenced ass. I got Jack Frost and Pyro Jack because I don't know Jack Squat looking ass. Like, you should not have attacked the damn Lily. Damn, but you lucky we here now. You lucky we here. We here to save the day. Here to save his ass. So they have sacrifice, sacrifice, life bonus, counter. So we just want to focus our efforts onto Lily. I'm really mad because he could have died. Because he could have fucking died. Dude, we almost lost because the CPU thought it was smart to attack an enemy on low health when we were right there, ready to provide backup to kill in the next turn. But whatever. Put your booty in the air. Booty, booty, booty in the air. Now shake it. Now shake it. Now shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> That's the victory dance. That's the victory legs. They start pelvic thrusting. It's over. <laughs> At the end of battle, the pelvic thrust and victory dance. Keisuke's safe, and we prevented the Laplace mail from coming true, right? There were supposed to be over 50 victims, but we saved them all. We're pretty good, huh? We're pretty... We're all right. We're all right for newbies. You know it. Woo! Awesome! Damn right. Uh-oh. Damn! Five days! Hey. Is it all over? Is it okay to come out? Damn, that shit went up by five days. That's interesting. Yeah, it's okay now. The demons have been dealt with, thanks to them. Wowza, bowza! I can't believe you beat up those demons! That sounds like something Chie would say. So this is the perfect Chie. This is the perfect Aaron Fitzgerald character, dude. I have to thank you properly. Thank you so very much. Thanks. You saved our lives. If you hadn't come, I might be dead right now. You saved our lives. Don't be hasty. You have more days now. Let's say don't be hasty, bro. I had no more days left anyway. I'd rather put my last day to use saving another. You idiot. Don't fight with the assumption that you're gonna get killed. You saw us change our destinies, right? You can't give up. You're right. Sorry. You're all really amazing. Just like heroes from a movie. That's not what I meant. The Keisuke I knew would have... Hey, come on! We're all safe now, so let's not fight, okay? But, uh, Keisuke, was it? It's great that your number has increased. I now have... five days left. Like almost everyone else. What's going to happen here in five days that will kill everyone in the area? Did you mean what you told us in Akihabara about everyone dying all at once? Think about it, bro. Oh, man. We were so concerned about ourselves that I completely forgot that. The countdown's begun. That's for certain. Everyone who had six days yesterday now has five. It's progressing like you'd expect. Everyone's going to die. Did you find out why? Sorry. I looked into it, but I haven't figured anything out yet. It's probably the stupid government. They're gonna nuke the place. That's what's going. That's why everybody's gonna die in five days. It's gonna be a fucking nuke. Just believe it. They're gonna bomb. They're gonna palm the hell out of Tokyo. Are we really gonna die? Even if we avoid it tomorrow, we'll still die in a few days. There's demons wherever we go. I hate this. I want to go home. I completely understand how Yuzu's feeling. There's always got to be at least one complainer in the group, you know? 
to balance out the positively and the negatively to keep everybody in a neutral mood. But some people will survive the inevitable if we can get to where they are. Is it the SDF? That's correct. The self-defense force members outside the lockdown don't have numbers over their heads. Right. That's why we're looking for a way out of the Yamanote Circle. This dude is smart as hell. Like, let's be real. <laughs> he figured that out because of that. Because of the damn situation at hand. That's pretty cool. I mean, the SDF is doing the lockdown, and they wouldn't put themselves in danger. That's it. Why didn't I realize it? There was that possibility. Hey, what are you talking about, Keisuke? What possibility? The possibility that all these deaths will be caused by the self-defense force. I just came up with that possibility in my head, too. That's entirely possible! Hmm. Why didn't I think of that before now? Besides the demons, the SDF must have an idea of the various problems going on here. And yet they merely stand outside their barricades. They won't even come to investigate. What about those people we seen earlier? They were, I believe, like special ops trying to figure out what the hell's going on about like they were talking about some uh some infested area or contagious area, whatever. Even with all these facts, can you still say that this lockdown is for our own good? I hear you. Something's not right. If that's true, the SDF is going to kill us all? Destroy us all! Destroy us all! Destroy us all! The SDF is going to destroy us all! <laughs> I can't say for sure, but it certainly seems safer outside the circle than in here. If we want to survive, we should make haste to leave the Yamanote Circle. Ah, I don't believe it. We have almost no days left. The demon's boss is resurrecting. I really like this game's story. Like, the plot is really good, like, so far. And to top it off, if we can't get out of the blockade in five days, we're still dead. It's bad enough that comp users are getting killed, and demons are using comps too. Oh man, that's lame. Demons with comps. More and more demons are showing up. Damn it, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Demons gonna call demons with comps, and then those demons gonna call comps and summon demons with their own comps, and it's just gonna be a clusterfuck. Huh? Demons were using comps? Ridiculous, I know, right? Yeah, demons aren't dumb monsters. They're smart enough to use human tools. They took comps from the people they killed and used them to increase their numbers. So that's how. I was wondering why so many demons appeared all of a sudden. Hey, hey, um, you were using comps in that fight, weren't you? Uh-oh. If I use a comp like you, will I be able to fight the demons like you guys? Oh my god, Midori. Huh? Well, I guess you would. We picked one up at Aoyama Cemetery yesterday that we aren't- Whoa! Wait, we picked it up? Wait. Wait a minute. I could have sworn they said, wait, we'll pick it up later. Unless after I defeated the enemy, he meant, we'll pick it up later. And then, because it was the last enemy I fought anyway, they were gonna pick it up right then anyway. Because I was right there. Y'all remember that fight? I was like, dude, I'm right there. Pick it up now. But they didn't pick it up. But I guess they picked it up when I wasn't looking, I guess. I don't know, dude. That's weird. But apparently, we do have a, a, an extra comp. Midori snatches the comp out of Aitsuru's hands. Damn, she just stole it. What the hell? This ain't no anime, Midori. Gimme! So what do I do? I can do it now, right? Dude, this ain't no anime. You need to chill. That That's true, but... This ain't Digimon Tamer's son? <laughs> then that's just what I'm gonna do. You ain't Jerry. You ain't... You ain't Sora. <laughs> what? Please, let me do it too. She thinks she Kyrie right now. You know what? Go for it. Now we're talking. It's mine now. Better, to, better her than some other person. Who would use it for bad stuff, right? Hey, wait! It's too dangerous to be by yourself. She was pretty happy about that. Kisuke, or Kesuke, Kisuke chases after Midori. Do you think they'll be alright? Hey, how many days did she have? She had five, along with the other guy. I wasn't looking. Let's say five. Five, huh? Maybe it's better for her to know how to use a comp. Well, Keisuke knows how to use a comp, so she should be alright with him. He's a decent guy, too, so I doubt he'd let her do anything bad with it. 
if she learns how to use her comp, she might be able to help other people live longer. Hell yeah, man. Cause and effect. We save other people's lives and they can help save more lives. Isn't it interesting how that works? Yeah, that may be true. We should get going too. We have to find a way out, remember? We only have a day.